Hi guys, <coughs> what you see here is my Storm Talon. It's been prime grey and I started using my airbrush to paint it red for my Blood Angels but I never got back to it so with Greg Huff's community build for February he wants everyone to paint something that they don't usually paint. Now I know I always paint Space Marines and all the rest of it but this is going to be a Space Wolf Storm Talon. So uh, I tried depreciating I have gone a bit overboard on that when I started out with the airbrush but it's my first time using it properly so I'm going to use a brush to paint this whole thing up and uh, this is going to be the first part of the video for Gre Greg Huff's community build so I'll put a link in all to his video for the build and then a video to his channel in the link below and we'll see how this progresses throughout the month so uh, thanks for watching guys and stay tuned for more updates Hi guys, we've got an update here on Greg Huff's community build. So the last time you've seen this, it was primed, slightly pre-shaded and had some red on it. So what we have here now is a space wolf storm town starting to take shape. All I've got done is the base colours. I started with McCrag Blue Dawnstone mix, then I went McCrag Blue or not McCrag Blue, Dawnstone, Altioch Blue, and then a, no, Calgar Blue and Dawnstone for the last one, the last layer. And then we've got Avalon Sunset as the base for the yellow. That has to be gone over again with Flash Gets Yellow to bring it up. This was red here was base with Corn Red and then Mephiston Red on top. And same again with the Pilot, and I've got all the metallics based with Lead Belcher. So that's all that I've got done at the minute. And underneath is all done as well. So we're going to start applying washes um, and maybe the flash gets yellow and then we'll be back to have another look at how it's getting on. So thanks for watching guys and we will be back soon. Hi guys, here is my Storm Talon. I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. I'm going to class the storm panel itself as finished um, and I'm going to work on the base now. So I did say in the previous section that I was going to do flash gets yellow on here and I did apply it and it looked absolutely horrible. So I went back over it with the Avaland sunset and we're going to leave it that way. So I'm just having a look from the side, you can see the yellow sections, the black has been done on all the weapons. Even the uh, the auto cannons, lash cannons got a little bit here. Um, I put silver here and this. And I didn't weather the bottom of it. I didn't really weather it all that much. I just kind of gave it these streaks here. There's a couple of them around the model, and they're they're done on both sides of the wing. Uh, so have a look. For the engine I started with was it Nullin Oil? It was either Nullin Oil or the Army Painter's Purple Tone. Then I added a red tone up here. I think it was just the purple tone. So there's the purple tone in the middle, then the red tone, and I put the the blue tone on the very end of the engine. Now I done this let's see if you can get a better view of it. I done this on both of the engines and then the four little thrusters here on the bottom. I think it came out quite nice on uh, the bottom. Um, da -da -da. So I haven't stuck them on yet because of the way I want to do the base. Which I will hopefully get done today. So that's what the pilot looks like. A little bit of... Uh, buttons and screens all done up in here so that oh, I've done these little lights and stuff here just to try and break it up that's more or less everything that's been done on it besides the canopy now this comes as clear plastic and I wanted to try and change it up a bit make it more realistic so I painted all the frame on it silver using iron breaker 
and then I painted this green section in here with Caliban green as if it was some kind of targeting screen or something had lit up in the, the cockpit and it's powered into the the glass section so when I put it on then that's what it looks like and I like the way that turned out now I was watching a tutorial yesterday and I can't remember where I've seen it but uh, the guy had taken his Games Workshop flying stand and he had used a heat gun to warm the middle section and I, when, I, when he was doing it he was rotating it with the heat gun on it and the stand bent so for smaller flyers like the Storm Talon or the Helldrake or anything like that nothing too bulky like the Storm Raven it looks like they're doing a, a banking manoeuvre so I wanted to try and do that and the more I thought about it the less I thought it was going to work for me because I don't have a heat gun and I was considering doing it with a lighter but then I was afraid that because the flame is too concentrated it's going to melt the plastic and burn it so it won't look as good as the other guys did and I don't particularly want to go and buy a heat gun so what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and use the oval base and what I'm going to do is use some insulation and build up uh, like a rock face from a mountain or something and have it so cut this here well wherever I need to cut it and stick it into the mountain and then the plan is to have one engine like this and the other one like that so it looks like it'll, it'll be it's going to be sitting this way on the side of the mountain but it looks like it's hovering around the edge of the mountain that's the plan I don't know how well it's going to work out but that's what I'm going to try and do today and uh, I'm going to make the mountain piece first about the same height as this flight stand maybe a bit bigger and I can just cut it down wherever I want to get just enough height away from the mountain so that it looks realistic and it doesn't look like it's actually hugging the mountain itself so that's that and since I got this done a lot quicker than I thought I would I'm moving on to this guy here that's not going to stand for me uh, I got this guy with a load of Space Wolf stuff that I bought he's a Space Wolf Ruin Priest now this is my first fine cast model that I'm actually going to paint as far as I can recall anyway no I didn't paint it, I have a Blood Angels Captain from Games Day but I haven't painted him yet so this will be my first fine cast model and um, I'm looking forward to getting into painting this guy so I'm going to try and get him a lot of him done today and I'm going to continue this on as part of my entry into the community build because I got the Storm Talon done a lot quicker than I thought and now it's a, a wreck Storm Talon but I have 20 Grey Hunters, 5 Wolfguard, this guy, Storm Talon and I have a little bit left to do on the Land Raider so hopefully get that going as well as part of the Space Wolves project but this is what I'm going to be working on as the next part of my community build so thanks for watching guys stay tuned for updates and we'll see us in the next video